different, but you're really close to both of them. Yeah. And they're at that age now, 12, and how old is Anouk? Anouk's 12 and Dee Dee's 10. Right. And they're at that age now where girls are really aware of their bodies and they're starting to compare each other to each other. Mm. How do you, do they, are they going through that at the moment? Are you having to deal with things like that? Yeah, they're definitely going in the early stages of, of puberty. We call it the puberty. Right. Oh, God, she's got the puberty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, God. Do you know when my mum told me about um, the puberty, she basically <laughs> handed me a carefree pads brochure from the pad packet and said, here, you probably want to read this. And that was the conversation. Oh, really? Yeah. That was it. She was, she's, she's got this stony oriental thing where she gets very squeamish about talking about anything bodily, sexual, yeah, right. even emotional, she's, she's not really keen on it. She shows her love through food and, yeah, okay. and touch and stuff, but yeah. So with my kids, I just wanted to be really candid with them and, and just f make them feel like they can talk about it with me. Yeah. Um, which I think so far is we, we do have the open communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which helps a lot too. Yeah, but the body image stuff is tricky because... Um, it's so easy to just go, oh, my God, I'm so fat. Mm. And then you, you see your girls as a mirror of you doing the exact same thing. And totally. Just, oh, God. So we just, um, I mean, I, I just try and live my life with a fair bit of truth, which sounds very wanky, but I, we eat really well, lots mm -hmm. of raw, fresh food, and we try and do something physical every day. Yeah. And I think if you're kind of in touch with your body in that way, you're in touch with your diet a bit more, like you don't tend to binge out if you're feeling good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about feeling good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And focusing on that instead of what you look like, how you're feeling. Yeah. yeah. And I, f I discovered something really early with my little one was she'd get fucking pissed off, right, when she was this big. <laughs> fucking pissed off, <laughs> man. And I would just immerse her in water. So I'd stick her in the bath if, if I could. And then when she got bigger, bigger, I'd take her to the pool. Right. And um, I just saw her, this sense of tranquility come over her. Oh. Yeah, and so whenever there was sort of, you know, that, you know, when they've been to a kid's birthday and they've loaded up on sugar yeah. and they're just ragged. Yeah. So I'd drive them literally from the birthday party to the pool and just get them in the water and they'd oh, wow. get all the energy out. And um, it was sort of like that spiritual baptism idea where they're cleansed. Yeah. Which I know is really crazy, but it works no, time totally. and time again. Yeah. So things like that um, when the body image stuff comes up or the feeling bad stuff comes up I just chuck them in the pool yeah right get it you should feeling shit about yourself put on your bathers <laughs> get out there in front of everyone yeah. <laughs> and we don't have a pool we go to the pub yeah pool. in front of all of these boys <laughs> and look take the towel off <laughs> and, and they, they also know I have this phobia about band-aids floating in the water oh. <laughs> so they're always like mum mum or pubes. <laughs> Public pools like <laughs> revolt me like nothing else. Can we get the best is the pubes stuck to the bloody band aids? Oh, <laughs> don't. Don't. It's so gross. And you come away with papillomas. And <laughs> <laughs> but their body image is fine. They're covered in warts and band aids and pubes. And they've they've got, <laughs> they're so self assured. It's fine. 